What is boundary value analysis? Boundary value analysis is a testing technique that focuses on the boundaries of input values. It helps us uncover potential errors at the edge of a range. To better illustrate this concept, I'd like to get into a few examples. First, let's start off with uh, the password section. So here um, we're creating a new account and we're being asked to create a new password. Um, it says password between seven and 15 characters long with at least one capital letter. So we're going to ignore for now um, the capital letter. So when we do our tests, we're just going to assume that we're including that. And we're going to interpret this as from and including seven characters and then up to and including 15 characters. So the first test you would run would have six characters. So that would be just below the requirement of seven characters. The second test you would run would be seven characters. So this is just within the range and we would expect this to pass. The third would be 15 characters. Uh, so again, this is just within the range. We would also expect this to pass. And lastly, we would do 16 characters. So this is just above the range and we'd expect this to fail. So at this point, it's just above the boundary. Uh, so here we have um, a better visual representation of what we'd expect to pass and what we'd expect to fail. So six characters fail, seven characters should pass, 15 characters should go through, and 16 characters should not go through. Let's get to, into another example. So number of connections displayed. Uh, so here is a little partial screenshot of my LinkedIn profile. And one of the current features we have in LinkedIn is that when you have... Um, let's say above 500 characters, uh, sorry, above 500 connections, they no longer show the exact number of connections you have. So the first test you would run is uh, zero connections. Uh, the, set, the, the second would be one connection. Uh, the third would be 500 connections. And the next test you would run would be 501 connections. And this is what I would expect to see here. Uh, so zero connections, honestly, I don't know what I would expect here. I would just um, run the test and find out to see if they would either show zero connections or if they would just not display um, that connections uh, blue line at all. I would then expect to see the exact number of connections from anywhere between one to 500. But since we're doing boundary value analysis, we're focusing on uh, tests at the boundary. So that would be, we'd just do the test at one and 500. And then uh, we would test with an account with 501 connections. So just above that limit. And we would then expect to see uh, what we see here, um, 500 plus connections. Hope that helps. If you have any questions about boundary value analysis, please ask me in the comments. Thanks.